Hi guys and gals, it's Jessica. Um, okay, so today I have a video for you on how to get every last drop of product out of containers like this, these like squeeze bottle kinds, and the um, pump lotions because you know, especially with the pumps, that there's about that much product left that you can't get out and to me that bothers me because it's like I paid for that and you know I get it pretty much go through one of these every like month or two months so it's like that adds up after a while and I don't think this is a terribly difficult thing to um, understand or even come up with yourself but I just wanted to do this video because I don't think people think of it like for the longest time I just thought you know I can't get any more product out I just have to throw it away and like a lot with bottles such as this you know I take off the top and I slam it against my hand and try and get a little bit out and like that's not only a pain in the butt but after a while you just get frustrated and you're like screw it and you throw it away and I've told so many of my friends like you should start cutting open your products and you'll see how much is left in there and they don't believe me and they're like oh yeah whatever it's a waste of time blah 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 literally it takes five minutes and if you do it regularly, you're going to save yourself money. So I'll just go over what you need to do this. Um, so you need whatever product it is that you're going to um, get the extra out of. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate using a Curel lotion. just comes in one of these squeeze bottles. And as you can see, it's almost down to the end there. And instead of struggling to get it all out and squeezing every last bit, I'm just going to do this. And it's going to be a lot easier. Um, and then... You also need a pair of kitchen shears. Um, for the squeeze bottles, you can really use regular um, scissors if you would like. If you watch this video and you think it's something that you're going to want to do frequently, though, I would definitely recommend buying a pair of these. I don't know how much they are, um, but they're stronger than regular scissors. And when it comes to things like this, like these more rigid plastic bottles, um, it's a lot easier and safer than trying to use a kitchen knife, and um, it gets kind of difficult when you're just using regular scissors. So, kitchen shears are different from re regular scissors in that they're stronger and they're made for cutting like animal bones and stuff. So, ew. But um, yeah, and this does this is not good for your kitchen shears. People are if you're a cook or you um, like to cook, you know that. These are supposed to stay very sharp, and cutting plastic with them is not a way to keep them sharp. So, if your parents have a pair, ask them if you can use them first. Um, otherwise, maybe get a separate pair just for this. Also, you need a small spatula. Um, I just brought these two kinds up here with me because I wasn't sure which one I want to use. This one's a little more flexible. But just a small spatula to help you scrape the product out of the container and into the next item you need, which is another container that you're going to use to store the product in. In a lot of cases, such as with these squeeze bottles, you can just cut the top off and then I'll show you how you can place it back on there so every time that you use it, you just take the top off, dip your hand in, put the top back on. But, for example, if you're going somewhere and you want to bring the product with you or if you just want a little more convenient, cleanly way to um, store it. I would suggest getting these. They're from the container store. I will put a little link around here somewhere to my haul from the container store and you'll see um, the different sizes that I got. But this is just the two ounce clear jar and it was $1.19. So, screws off like that. And that's pretty much all you need. Okay, so let's get started. So when you're doing the squeeze bottle kind, you just want to First, squeeze all the product down from the top so that when you cut it off with the scissors, you don't have product pouring out everywhere and you don't have to deal with trying to get product out of the top of the bottle. Then I'm going to take my kitchen shears and with this size, because I'm just going to be taking it out of the bottle, it doesn't really matter where I cut it. But every time that one of my face washes starts to get down to the bottom, this one's sort of getting there, I... Um, do what is easiest for me, which is just cut it off about here, and then I'll show you how I place the top back on. So, Oh, and I would recommend doing this in your kitchen, just because you are working with liquid products, but for the sake of this, I'm going to do it here in my room. So you just cut it off with your kitchen shears or regular scissors. So then you'll see there's sometimes a little bit of product in there, but really there's 
really none in there because we squeezed it all down. So this is pretty much garbage. And then if you look in here, now I hadn't completely used this one to the point of where I couldn't get any more out, but as you'll see, there's tons of product left in there. And that'll happen, especially with heavier cream type things like a cleanser. You'll see there's tons in there. I usually get about two weeks worth of uses out of doing this when my cleansers kind of hit the bottom. So now I'm going to take my clear jar. And I actually don't know if all this is going to fit in this jar. So I have my little jar. I'm going to go in there with my spatula, scoop out the product, and just put it in the jar. See? Very easy. When you have a lotion or a thick product like this, you know, it might stick on the sides a little. So just um, put it on your hand and kind of tap it like that. And it should all settle to the bottom so you can keep putting product in there. So then I'm just going to keep going in, very carefully scooping it all out. Okay, so there is my finished jar. It's got all my lotion in it. And as you might be able to see, there is not a drop left in the bottle. So, got all my product out of there that I already paid for. I'll demonstrate with this... Um, cut apart squeeze bottle what I do with my face washes because I don't take them out of the container like I did with this lotion. Um, I leave them in there because they're pretty thick and they don't get messy and um, I pretty much just use them in the bathroom. I'm not bringing them anywhere with me. So you just take this part and you kind of squeeze it in in the middle there so it's gonna get a little bit smaller you see. And then you just take the top and slip the top on. So it's almost like a tiny little version of the bottle that you had. So this is what my face washes look like after I've done this, and I just leave them in my bathroom. It doesn't get messy as long as you remember to squeeze all the product from the top of the bottle first. And then I just use them until they're empty, and I throw it away. Next, I'll show you how to do it with one of these harder plastic bottles, which is really the reason that I recommend the kitchen shears, because you can use a big kitchen knife, to do this but not only is it a little more dangerous and difficult it's really bad for your knives so unless you want to go out and buy a special kitchen knife for it you know if you're gonna do that might as well just buy some kitchen shears so first just to make it easy I take out the little squirter little pump dude whatever you call this guy and set him on my napkin <laughs> Okay, and then, and this obviously, since we can't squeeze down the sides, if you want, you can tap it on something, and it'll help it all really settle down into the bottom so you don't have to deal with scraping stuff out of the top. So then, if you want to hold it up to the light and tell where your product is, you know, say you have this much left of product and you're just sick of using the pump, then you would want to cut right there. But I can see that I only have about an inch left of product, so I'm just going to cut right about there just to make it easy for myself so I don't have to deal with a lot of extra plastic. And the first thing, and kitchen shears are very strong, so I really just took that to the side and just started cutting it like I was scissors and paper, and it cuts right through it. So, But definitely be careful because kitchen shears are sharp. And then once you make your hole on the side, you just want to start cutting from one side all the way around. So then this, if you'll see, you can't really see, it's kind of washed out, but there, this whole thing is practically filled with product. That is at least a week's worth of use for me, so I'm not about to throw that away. So again, take your spatula, and if you don't want to go to the container store and buy little containers for this, even though they are super cheap, um, feel free to just use a Tupperware, you know? If you're just, if you're not going anywhere and you're not concerned about size, feel free to just put it in a Tupperware, and then that way you get easy access to it, but you don't have to um, spend any extra money. So again, just doing the same thing. Taking my spatula, and this lotion is a little more runny, so I gotta be careful. But if I had thrown this away, 
I would have to be going back to Target right now to buy another lotion. And now I can wait two weeks. So I got all of that simply out of the bottom of this bottle. That is all the product that the pump could not reach. It was telling me that it was empty, but it wasn't. But that is it guys, that's my tutorial on how to get every last drop of product out of these inconveniently designed packages. So um, I hope this helped you out. I hope you at least give it a try um, and see how you like it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out more videos soon and I will definitely take requests. So thanks for watching.